The Governorship Election Partition Tribunal, seating in Kaduna, has declared the 2023 Governorship Election in the state inconclusive. During its resumed proceeding today, the tribunal, in a split decision of a ratio 2 to 1, declared the election inconclusive and directed that the supplementary election should be held by the Independence National Electoral Commission within 90 days. The three-month panel, led by Justice Victor Oviawe, therefore ordered a rerun of the election in 24 polling units in seven words of four local governments, consisting of 16,300 registered voters. The verdict was announced via Zoom after the judges shunned the physical hall. Recall that the petition was filed by the People's Democratic Party and its candidate, Issa Mohammed Ashiru. The facts before it. The court arrived at decision based on the submissions and argument of lawyers, and then uh, uh, the majority of the tribunal judges decided that the election was inconclusive, and one judge affirmed the election. But the decision, but the majority decision of the court is that the election was inconclusive. Really, because we believe the materials we placed before were sufficient enough for the court to, to, to have even declared our candidate the, the, the winner of the election because we know. Uh, PDP won the election in Kaduna State. Then, uh, what I'm telling you is we'll go into this election and definitely we'll come up with tears. The tribunal has dismissed the petition filed by the PDP. That is the ruling of the tribunal in the morning. But, you know, by the provision of the constitution, they are required to also consider the petition on merit. So on Mary, two of them said that uh, election was supposed to be conducted in 22 polling units because the number of the voters there exceed the margin of lead. But they have said that the petitioners, the petition, the PDP wanted it to be declared as the winner of the election. The, the tribunals said that they have no proof that. They allege that there are corrupt practices perpetrated by APC. They said they have no proof that. So, in, in essence, as of today, the PDP petition is dismissed by the tribunal. Unless PDP appeal to the Court of Appeal, then we now know what will happen there. But the petition has been dismissed. There is a notice of preliminary objection, which the tribunal ruled that the petition has been abandoned, so it is dismissed. But by the provision of the Constitution, the tribunal now will have to determine the petition in merit. That is, assuming the Court of Appeal said it was wrong, then this is his decision on merit. But the main decision of the tribunal is that the petition is dismissed. That is the, that is the ruling of the tribunal, the first ruling delivered on the tribunal by the chairman and member one of the tribunal. Because what is it? We wait if PDP file an appeal, we we'll go and defend the ruling of the tribunal. But for now, we have, we have no cause to file any appeal. We are happy with the ruling of the tribunal. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.